Hey guys, it is literally August 18th, but I am already preparing for Inktober. I really, really want to do it this year, but I am a grad student and I know I'm going to be so busy in October. I've got a wedding to go to, birthday parties and Halloween parties already like on my calendar two months in advance. So like, <laughs> it's crazy. So I'm going to start early. Um, just so that instead of having one art to do a day, I have one art every two days kind of a thing. Um, and right now I've got a week and a half before classes start, so I need to use this time to get ahead. Also, I really want to have a solid like intro for just my Inktober videos as well as an outro. Make it kind of spooky, a little Halloween-y. Um, just because the last time I did Inktober, my channel engagement like shot through the roof so I want to make sure I'm putting my best foot forward and I've got like a really solid intro and music and it's all nice and cohesive and I'm using the time I have now to get a head start on that <laughs> and I'm sure some of you guys think I'm crazy. So this first clip here is of me working on my intro. I am using the Adobe program called After Effects. It's a very nifty like video editing motion graphic software where you can basically just put in all your images and some text and stuff and then just tell it where you want it to move. Um, that is a very simplified explanation. This program is a little complicated, but once you get it, it's all kind of making sense. I only know as much as I do know because I took a class on it. Um, but I don't want to bore you with too much details about uh, After Effects. So I just showed you guys a clip of me like working on this in After Effects. I brought it into Premiere Rush to just add in some audio tracks. I can add audio tracks in After Effects, but I don't know. I just, sometimes it lags it out and it's just easier for me to do it here. Uh, so far, I'm pretty happy with it, but I'm over in the YouTube um, audio library, which by the way, if you guys haven't used the YouTube audio library yet, you need to check it out because they've really upped their game. So you'll just go to like your channel and then like there's the content and all that stuff. You just hit the audio library and I typed in Halloween and I'm just like listening to some tracks and my goal is to compile a small folder with kind of like more spooky ambiance music. I tend to do like lo-fi, chill, like we're vibing music. <laughs> but for all my Inktober stuff, I wanted to kind of have this kind of cohesive, spooky vibe. Also, I'm sorry, I look not great, okay? This is, this is what I look like when I'm working, right? Anyway, I digress. Um, so my intro is about done. Oh, I need to make a thumbnail template so that way whenever I get the pictures of the artwork I make, I can just plug it into this template and it can be seamless. I'll pop up a picture of what um, my 2019 thumbnails all looked like. They were super cohesive, they all went together and it made the editing process a lot faster. Also, for anyone curious how I'm getting so started so early, um, so the Inktober official list comes out September 1st, but if you're on their newsletter, you can get it as early as August 25th if you're on the newsletter. So I'm starting this on the 18th just to do my intro outro prep stuff. And then probably next week, once I get the thing on the 25th, I'll probably start a couple of like drawings as well as a little other prep. Um, Although you won't see any drawings in this video, those will be in next week's video, which is weird to say next week's video because I'm <laughs> recording this a month and a half in advance, but this video won't be coming out until like September 29th. Oh my gosh, my eyes are bloodshot. I've been on the computer all day editing videos and doing things. It's fine. I'm fine. My boyfriend's ringing me Whataburger. It's fine. Anyway, I will uh, bring you back in when there's more things to be said. All right, so update on um, looking for music. I think the best option 
is to search lo-fi and then look at the mood. So let me show you that. So I typed lo-fi up into the search bar and then over here it says mood, dark, dark, dramatic. I'm finding the best um, options are the ones that either say dramatic or dark. Like this one I'm listening to right now, Stained Moon Boots. Let's have a listen, shall we? Wowza, that was some great dancing, Izzy. Anyway, let us move on. So I really wanted to draw a little portrait of myself for my new outro. And I originally was thinking about doing a vampire because like I've drawn myself as a witch a million times and I just love the witch aesthetic or whatever. I was like, you know what, let's do something different. Um, I wasn't vibing and so here we are back with a witch. But I've kind of adjusted my cartoon style a little bit since the last time I drew myself as a witch and that is what I'm telling myself so that I'm okay with drawing myself as a witch for the millionth time. I actually drew this in Procreate and then I just brought it over uh, saved it as a PNG and brought it over into my programs. So this is my current outro. I have this cartoon of me here that's just slightly moving, a bar along the top. I kind of want to mimic this like layout, but make it more like Halloween, whereas this is very like summer. So with that in mind, I drew a witch version of me as a cartoon here throw that into After Effects and let's see what we can make. All right, here we are in After Effects. I think, well, let me start by saying I didn't really like the way the stroke looked on this witch, so I do end up changing it just so there is no stroke. Um, this is probably one of the more complicated things I've done in After Effects, um, trying to like kind of make it look like she's walking, but then also like I had to lower it because you could see the bottom. Uh, I think I was just trying to make this switch do a lot of little movements. Uh, I think overall it turns out good, but I did struggle at a few moments. <laughs> but um, I think it turned out pretty good, and I'll put in a little clip of what my outro looks like here in a second. And then you'll also see it again at the very end of this video, you know, because <laughs> it's the outro. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay guys, it is now August 25th, or I guess it's 26th because yesterday flew by and I didn't have a chance to do it yesterday. But um, the early, the newsletter for the early drop of the Inktober list came out on the 25th, today's the 26th. So now I need to kind of organize my thoughts. Uh, I like to write down all of the lists and stuff in my sketchbook so that I always have it handy because sometimes I'm drawing and stuff, but I'm using my phone to record, so I can't always access the information from my phone. And like getting my whole laptop or computer out just to like look at the list is kind of like, <clears throat> So having it written down in my sketchbook, I find it's really helpful because it's just like one less obstacle in the way of like me getting things done. So I'm gonna do that. I usually like to make it a little aesthetic looking when I can, curb your expectations. We'll see how I'm feeling. Sometimes I'm extra, sometimes I'm not. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that as well as kind of plan out what days will go in which week's video and everything like that. So yeah, I think that's our last thing to do to prep. And then the next step will be all in the next video when I start actually making the artwork and stuff, so.
Alright, here is my finalized, like, page of mm, reference. <laughs> um, I had some hiccups along the way, just ignore this little moment here. Could I have gotten a piece of paper out to do these swatches? Yes. Was I too lazy to? Also, yes. This is just a page of my sketchbook. I don't really care. Um, it's meant to be more efficient than perfect, so I just... Anyway, um, so on the left, I just have the list of all of the uh, prompts. And then on the right, I have six dates. And those are the six dates in which I plan on uploading Inktober content. Uh, the first week will be my plan and prep video. And then on the third, we have prompts one through five. As you can notice, I technically will be a little bit ahead. Um, it's kind of whatever. I wanted to split up this first video to have five and this one to have five as well, instead of this one having um, seven and that one having three. That way it's a little more even. Uh, and then we go on to our normal seven, seven, seven. And then on the 31st, we will be having not only a prompt video with my drawings from prompt 25 to 31, but we'll also be having a second video where I'll be flipping through all 31 drawings and just kind of reflecting on the month, I guess you could say. So yeah. Uh, and then I also, I also, I left lots of space here so that I can uh, jot down notes and things for my reference as I start making the drawings. In case I skip around, I don't, I'll, I usually just go like one, two, three, like in order. Oh, hello Milo. <laughs> oh, good morning. You took a big nap, yeah? Are you wanting pets or something? Anyway, uh, <laughs> I usually do all the prompts in numerical order. I try not to skip around, but just in case I do end up skipping around, you know, I can make note of that stuff over here. Uh, maybe make a checklist of like, okay, I have this one recorded but not edited. You know, I don't really know what I'm going to use it for yet. Thank you guys for coming along on this journey of uh, preparing for Inktober. I, I hope this is interesting. A lot goes on behind the scenes for artists that really commit to doing all 31 days. It is a big undertaking, especially when you're not a full-time artist in the sense that you will have time to do these sort of things every day. I'm a full-time student as well as a part, I have a part-time job doing graphic design and then I also do all these YouTube videos kind of in between my time when I can. So uh, if it seems unfair or weird or it feels like cheating that I'm starting early, as early as August, um, I implore you guys to just give a little bit of leeway as a kind of self-proclaimed content creator. I have to do what I have to do in order to get these things done and this is what I have to do. I'm not just doing little sketches in my sketchbook to not show anyone. I'm doing these to show you guys and I want to commit and complete the month. And uh, this is what I got to do in order to bring this content to you guys. So um, let me know if you enjoyed this sort of prep for Inktober. I'll do it again next year. Um, I love editing video and things like that, and that's not something that I can always include in my videos. So doing something like this to get you guys to like really see the time I put into my like intros and outro cards and stuff, uh, it's really gratifying for me to be able to like actually show you guys that time I put into making those things. Um, but please subscribe and like so that you guys can keep up with all my Inktober content. Um, as you can tell, I am working hard to get all this stuff done for you guys so yeah i'll see you guys next week in our first inktober video well second technically <laughs> bye